Hey there YouTube, Fry920 here. Um, today I am coming to you with a review on the Sabre by John Deere riding mower. Uh, now this says it's supposed to be a 46 inch. I actually have a 38 inch deck on here because the 46 was kind of kind of crapped out on me. Um, I let it rust. It's actually back there standing up. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I didn't let it rust. I actually just bought this thing uh, for 250. I'm planning on reselling it, uh, but overall, this thing is not half bad. It's not top of the line quality, but it is not bad either. So it has a 16 horsepower Vanguard Briggs and Stratton engine, uh, front engine fuel tank, or front fuel tank. Uh, battery is under the seat. Um, I cleaned it up, I pressure washed it, put some tire shine on. It's very pretty. Uh, the color is very green, as you can tell. Um, so let's go ahead and sit on the actual tractor. Here's your view when you're mowing. Um, here's the height adjustment. It's weird because you have to push this down. This is the one thing I don't like is the height adjustment because you push that down. And it's really iffy at times. So there, that's low. Push down again. Yeah, okay, push it down again, pull it up, and, okay, let me put the phone down, one second. Yeah, so you can tell that's kind of a pain in the butt. That's one thing I don't like about this. Uh, here's your parking brake, so you can press the pedal the whole way down. Go ahead and slide that over and into park. Um, your key is back here. Here's forward, neutral, reverse. So they're shifting it. It's a shift. It's a hydro mower. Um, so it is pretty nice when it comes to that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, why don't we go ahead and get it to start up? So to push down, you have to push down the pedal. Sometimes pull back the PTO lever, and it starts right up every time. So your throttle's here. actually mowing with it. Here's the Saber by John Deere in fresh cut grass. Uh, it leaves a bit of grass clippings, um, but that's not a big deal because pretty much any mower does that. Um, I do not believe these things are actually for sale anymore um, unless you were to buy them used. So if this thing was still in stores, I would recommend it if you have less than an acre or about an acre. Anything bigger than that, it might be too much for this thing. Um, I'm not sure what you're looking at price range, but used, you're probably looking at about 500 or less price range. I snagged this one for 250, um, so <laughs> not a horrible deal on my part. But 
yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.